title of this writing is Autopilot. Is your life on autopilot? Sadly, the answer is yes for most. Perfunctory seems to be our go-to pattern for living these days. I'm sure that if you celebrate, you received fewer Christmas cards this year, and most of the ones you did receive contain just the printed name of the sender or only a handwritten signature with no note or custom message. This is a departure from past practices. Here's what it signifies to me. We've gone deeper into our cocoons and are making precious little time for others. This isolation feeds the illusion that we're the only ones who exist, and it keeps us from reaching out and touching others where they live. Look no further than Facebook for evidence. Look at the number of people who respond to someone's birthday with a two-word greeting. Happy birthday. That has the warmth of receiving a birthday card from your insurance agent. If that's all you have to say, it's a clear indication you're on autopilot. If you're going to reach out, extend your arms fully or you're just going to get a handful of air and your communication will be translated that you don't really care. If you truly don't care, don't reach out. Pretending to care will be viewed as obligatory and lack any meaningful impression. This message isn't intended to get you to care more. That's a fool's errand. It's more about noticing that too much of your attention is being spent on you causing you to stay in your isolated stew. Consider putting more of yourself out there. It'll take you off autopilot and reconnect you to the rich world of others, your source for feeling more included and more alive. All the best, John.